Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, early, and I'm just started to brush my hair and trying to get it to sit straight. But like, what is this? This is crazy. Just nuts. I got my eyelashes done yesterday as well, by the way, guys. So this eye is a bit irritated as well. I don't like you can see that there. I think it's from the glue. This, like, the glue always irritates my eye when I first get done, but this is particularly bad. I meant to say that last week, actually, the day I got the contacts put in. Sorry. <laughs> Let's backtrack. Got my eyes tested last Thursday. He put contacts in my eye, the optician, and he was taking them in and out. And my eye does not like anything going near it, obviously, like fingers, things touching it. And I was gonna go for a contact, try and get contacts today to see about putting them in and out my eye, but my eye is so sore. Um, I should have probably not put any makeup near it, but I didn't realize how actually irritated it is. And then I got my eyelashes done as well over the weekend and just my eye has just been very irritated so I don't know if it's from the contacts I don't know if it's from getting lashes done I don't know what it is but my eye is irritated and I have to cancel my contact appointment now so that's what I'm currently at so I put makeup on today because I was like oh I'm gonna put on like a little BB cream and then I put on the it cosmetics and then I was like oh let's put on some concealer and let's put on some lip product and now we're here with like full beat ass face makeup I don't know why I shouldn't have put this much on I'm trying to keep things away from my eye it's just not nice and anytime anybody sees something wrong with my eye they're like oh my god you have this wrong with you that wrong with you the amount of messages I've gotten lately about my health people have been like get your thyroid checked and like have you had a stroke I was like I'm sorry what <laughs> guys I got my bloods tested like every couple of like months every three months I think it is every four months but and then I go to the doctor at six months to the day I am in perfect health I'm actually the healthiest that I've ever ever been please don't say things to me like get your thyroid I checked you might have some disease or like you're having a stroke like it's it's just not acceptable my eye is irritated because of contacts slash lashes slash just putting too much stuff all over my eyes awesome my <laughs> okay so I've never put up a picture on Instagram of a boyfriend because I just I just don't do things like that because I'm quite private so I told you guys like obviously I'm just being a little bit more sharing this year and I don't care anymore and like let's just share our life we're online so I put up a picture of my boyfriend and I on Instagram so obviously he's very special to me very near and dear to me and the caption like the caption is kind of like an inside joke just after texting me he was like you're so cute this is gas blah 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 so whatever yeah stuck up a picture on instagram if you want to go see him can i have a little snoop uh yeah you can go to instagram my instagram obviously um which is always like linked somewhere around here anyway so i have to cancel eye appointment right now and then i'm going to meet the girls for something to eat i can't wait to see the girls i haven't seen them in so long because i just feel like i'm all over the place like here, there, and everywhere. So we are catching up today. I'm just meeting Neve and Megan today, and then I'm calling out to Amy tomorrow, and then I need to see Damien before the weekend because he has just like fallen off the radar. He's working in Ashton and living. Where the hell is he living? Longwood, somewhere like that. I'm not really sure where Longwood is, but he's not living anywhere near me anymore so it's kind of like a bummer so I need to drive to him and go and see him because I miss him I miss his little face I miss the fun I miss the laughs so I need to go see Damien and this week is all about seeing my friends the other thing is vlogmas guys so I need you guys' help with vlogmas vlogmas is coming up super soon uh, I'm not sure obviously I'm going to do vlogmas but, uh, but I'm not sure what way to do it. Do I do like a vlog a week? Like which is like my week long vlog? Do I do a vlog a day? Do I do it every second day? What about beauty videos? Because everything's going up on the main channel. Can you guys help me out? Do I do it for the next 24 days? Or when like the 24 days of December? Sorry like my hair is like ugh, ugh. I need to put dry shampoo and I haven't washed it in like a week. And I ain't about to wash it now. Help me out with the vlogmas thing. What way am I going to do it? Because I have no idea. Are you guys going to miss beauty videos if I don't upload them? If it's just completely and utterly vlogs for the whole month of December? Do you want to mix up beauty videos? Should I do a vlog every second day, third day, fourth day, once a week? Let me know. I need you guys' help. That would just really, really help me out because then when I kickstart into Vlogmas, um, yeah, then I know exactly what way you guys want to see it. So now I'm going to ring spec savers, get that sorted. Alright, so guys, I just called the opticians. And that's all good. So they recommended, they recommended that if my eye is not feeling better, feeling better, what the hell? 
the optician recommended if my eye has improved by tomorrow that I come in anyway and maybe not do the the test the contact lenses test but just to even check to see if it's okay because I was explaining that it's quite red and shot or bloodshot and stuff like that so Anyway, I'm gonna go meet Neve and Megan now. I'm very excited and I'm starving. Yeah, let's get dressed. So I am dressed. I'm wearing this like oversized cream jumper that I got off Nasty Gal. I'm wearing these really oversized baggy jeans from River Island. I'm not wearing these runners. My boots are actually in the car, so I'm gonna go out and get them. So that's basically what we're wearing. And then my jacket is also in the car. So I'm just wearing these out to get the stuff out of the car like I said I think I'm gonna wear my cream boots the ones that oh, you've probably seen on Instagram a ton of times before so yeah that's what we're sporting boots on they're getting a bit filthy <laughs> I might need to clean them so ooh, put that leg down there then I have my jacket so we're all toasty warm now Woo not even that cold guys like I mean it's seven degrees out but it just feels even colder than it actually is just because I don't know, I'm a cold bodied person. I am just always freezing. <laughs> anyway, I was just talking to Neve, so she has arrived at our location and ooh, and then Megan, I think, should be there already. I didn't hear from her, so I'm presuming that she's already there. So I hope you guys had a fabulous weekend. Sorry, I'm just putting music on. I hope you guys had a fabulous weekend. Did you get up to anything exciting? What did you do? Where did you go? Did you spend time with family, friends? Were you out over the weekend? The last time I was talking to you, I was going to my boyfriend. On Friday night, we went to his local pub and we had a few drinks with a load of his friends and it was lovely. I had like three Coronas. Was it three, four, something like that? Nothing like too extreme. And Saturday morning, Patty and I had planned to go to the gym and I was like all oh, pumped for this on Friday night when I was in the, out in the pub and like, yeah, 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 we're not gonna drink too much, we're gonna be up, we're gonna bright and early, we're gonna be, you know, gymming it. Yeah, cannot wait. Do you think Ashton could get out of bed on Saturday morning? No, I was hanging like a pineapple. I swear to God, I haven't felt that hungover in a long time. And I was wondering if it's maybe I didn't eat that much on Friday, because I know I didn't really eat that much on Friday. I was too busy kind of like running around, not paying attention to actually eating decent food. I don't think I drank enough water in the day, but I was dying Saturday morning. I could not get out of bed until about half one. I was like, the gym's just not gonna happen. I was like, I'll drop you to the gym, that's fine. And I'll go back to bed, whatever. And he was like, no, I'm not going without you. <laughs> I was like, are you dying too? And he was like, no, I'm not dying. But he clearly was, because he was like, I need to go get some tablets in the pharmacy, like for my head. And I was like, why have you hangover? No, no, I just have a headache. I just feel like a muzziness in my head. I was like, you're hanging as well. I cannot consume alcohol at all. It just does not agree with my body. Went to the gym on Sunday instead. Guys, I really need to sit down and actually make it a proper plan. Like I'm working on glutes and legs because obviously they're like my favorite part to work out and core obviously the core is like so small the muscles in your core that you know even like running or boxing and stuff like that will help with the core muscles so I really need to make out a proper plan I was looking at one of the girls here in Ireland that I absolutely love Sarah Godfrey and she had like a little plan for glutes and legs and I was looking at her exercises and I kind of figured out where all the machines were I'd never been in that particular gym and it's a Ben Dunn gym but I'd never been in that one so I didn't know where like all the machines were and I didn't know where all the like area is and on a Sunday morning I was like oh it's not going to be that busy <laughs> oh my god what are people doing in on a Sunday morning early in the gym like I know I was in the gym but I wasn't out Saturday night I don't know people don't rest anymore but yeah the gym was wedged on Sunday morning so I needed to kind of like figure out where the machines are where the mats are where the bands and stuff where everything it was that I needed for a good workout and in order to get like or have a good workout in that gym I need to kind of set myself a little plan because it's not like the gym in my area where where I can go like in the morning and it's not that busy or like you know like 10 o'clock in the day or 11 o'clock in the day where it's not going to be that busy because obviously being self-employed that's like a benefit of it I can make my own time and stuff but and also I can go to the gym when it's not as busy and then in the winter time my friends and I go to um, exercise classes together but you have to book in for them and they only take like a max capacity maybe like 20 people 
so I have him worked out in a gym where you're fighting for like machines and you're fighting for maths and I was like this is just mental so I really need to kind of get organized and like a, a, an actual fitness plan because he wants to do it every weekend we're thinking do next sorry my phone just beeped and I just got a, a, a text message that I've been waiting for for a long time and it's just after coming through so happy days this might be something good this is this is work related obviously but I'm meeting the girls in five minutes and I'm just here at my location I'm gonna make that call and I'll talk to you guys after I've had something to eat well hello I'm just in the door it's gone like half six I stayed with Neve like so much longer than we expected Megan couldn't make it in the end because she's working tonight so she wanted to go and have like a little power nap before work obviously so Neve and I just had a little bit of alone time but I just had a lovely day with Neve I had like the best catch up ever she had really exciting news and it was just lovely just to sit there and have something to eat and just catch up with my friend I don't know I'm trying to fix my lip product put lipstick on when I was in the car great in the dark <laughs> Yeah, no, you can see it doesn't look great. I just am having a really, really, really lovely day. I'm like just feeling really happy. Do you ever have like one of those days where you're just like extremely happy? That's just me today. And I just want to see all my friends this week. I'm just having like a catch up friends week, which is great because I just, you know, I love my friends. I love seeing them. Obviously at the weekends I spend the time with my boyfriend and then I spend time with my family in the evening. So I'm just trying to get like a good little balance going on in my life because it's really, really difficult. I don't know if anyone finds that like when you get a little bit older, like it's really hard to kind of like balance your friends, relationship, work, everything. Just trying to make sure that everything's like you're giving everything its divided attention or its equal attention or the attention it deserves. And I'm just trying to like do that obviously. I got a Nasty Gal order which is this little jumper. I never actually showed you. I got it yesterday so that's why I didn't. And I need to throw the Nasty Gal bag in the bin. Like I just like opened it, took out the stuff and like threw the bag in my bed. Not great, not great really. But I got a lovely skirt as well. I'll show you that too. This is what the skirt looks like. It's snake print, obviously. And then it has like a little kick at the bottom, which I really like. And I like the way it's got like black detail in it. So my whole idea was that I would wear like a shirt or a shirt, a jumper like this. And then the skirt. Um, that's just the name of it, if it will focus. That's the name of it, just in case you guys like it. And it was 10 euro. Really, really inexpensive. And the jumper that I'm wearing now, I think, was like 10 as well. I'll find the tag off this jumper so I can't tell you what the name of it is. But I think it's like Fisherman Hole. I don't know, jumper. I'll find it on the Nasty Gal website and I'll link it down in the description below. How about debt? Guys, I know I get asked a lot about these sock boots on my Instagram. These so need to be cleaned. I need like a brush to clean them. I got them on, I think it's Ego footwear or something like that or else public desire. I can't really remember I and mean, I have them linked to my Instagram But I'm gonna link them in the description box of this video as well Very comfortable even though they have like a big heel and they're kind of like flat as in they don't have like a platform They're incredibly comfortable. I just love the sock boot effect of them. They look like nothing right now Because obviously they're not on a foot. Look at the dirt of them but they are incredibly comfortable and they're lovely boots. So currently in the process of going through this little bag, I just have a light here because I'm trying to like see everything in it. I've like emptied everything out. Like there is so much crap in there. I don't even know what is in there, but I found six MAC lipsticks in there, which is interesting. Um, yeah, why you would need six lipsticks, I don't know. It's defo a little bit excessive, I think. What ones have I got in here? This one is focus for me focus so that one is max blankety which is like my favorite lipstick ever such a lovely nude color i really need to get a new one of that so that's one i'm gonna keep that in there because i'm gonna use it up what's this one this is flesh pot this is kind of like a relatively new lipstick i actually really like that one but i won't put that in my bag because i want to use up the ones that are nearly gone what's this one sorry it's really hard to see honey love love honey love honey love looks a bit sweaty why are you so sweaty? This is a very regularly used one. I only have this lipstick maybe like, because I repurchase it quite a lot. I think I only have it like maybe three, four months. It could be like that from the summertime. Angel, is this new? I feel, no, that's not new. Okay, well, we'll try and wear, use that one up because I know I definitely have a backup of that. And then I've got Yash. Oh, there's loads left in that, so I won't use that one. I'll try and use up the ones that have like little bits left in it. What's the last one there? Myth. And oh yeah, we'll use up Myth. I wore Myth today. I wear that one a lot. So we'll keep these three in my bag 
and I will take out them three because I don't need them. I need to put everything away. What else have we got in here? Let's go searching. My God, guys, this is crazy. I'm just going to empty everything out because I just want to sort through it at this stage because I really don't feel like I need 500 lipsticks, a lot of tampons, whatever else is in here, receipts, lip liners. Oh yeah, there's way too much crap in this bag. Like this bag's little and like I said, I only have it a short time. Like I just want to get rid of everything out of there. Oh, there's a, a nail in there. Brilliant. That can go straight in the bin. Yeah, okay, right. So we're not putting all this back in here. Chewing gum, yeah, right, we'll put that in there because they're probably not in there that long. Do I realistically need another lipstick? What one is this even? Nude Embrace 930 from Maybelline. Okay, that's not very old, that lipstick. I'm going to leave it out because it's kind of full. Try and get through the ends of the other ones. Lip liner, right, so we have got Cafon D. This is Bow and Arrow. I use that a lot actually. I wear that quite regularly, but I don't I'm not gonna put it back in there. Tampons, yeah, let's put them in there just in case we're caught off guard, even though we're not due for another like three weeks, but still it might be caught off guard in three weeks' time and be glad that they were in there. Receipts that we do not need. So there are bits of paper going in the bin and a nail going in the bin. This NYX liner, right? I do not need all these lip liners. So I'm just going to keep I think stripped down from MAC. I need my lip balm. I'll keep my lip balm. I do not need these lipsticks. Actually, I know that this one's nearly all out as well. Yeah, like look at that. There's like nothing left in that. So I'm just going to keep that in there and like use it up. Every star. What is this? Brick and Suede. Oh, we still have a good bit left in that so we won't use that one. We'll take that out. This is ridiculous. The amount of lip products in one person's bag. I have two perfumes in here. So I don't need a rollerball and a spray so I'm gonna leave the spray in there I'll take the rollerball out because I can leave that on my my vanity I have mauve from NYX nude weight nude suede shoes and I'm gonna leave this one in here I don't know what this one is I think it's oh god you're not in great nick are you kind of like falling out there mm, I think I might just throw that out I'll throw these in one compartment over here oh my god try and use up those lipsticks put my perfume back in my car keys back in and my old glasses we'll put them back in because i never can find a pair of glasses they're always missing that's a bit better oh that feels much better there's not as much crap in there so guys it's night time actually i need to prop these up a little bit higher than that and um i'm taking off my makeup because I'm going to bed. There we go. I've just been on the phone <laughs> to Patty for like the last hour talking about the stupidest things ever. If you had a superpower, what would it be? I actually think we're so stupid by times. Anyway, how am I going to do this? Because I remember my eyelashes. You have to be careful with them as well. I can still get them wet now, but I just can't put oil on them. Actually, I need a headband. Hang about. I'm gonna take this micellar water. I think this has a bit of oil in it. Yeah, I think it does have oil. So I'm gonna keep that away from my lashes, but I'm gonna use it obviously to take off my lip product. I'm gonna use that just to take off mascara under there as well, keeping obviously well away from the upper lashes. I'm gonna take off my lip product. And then I kind of use a little bit of what's left here and take off my brows. Bye bye brows. My friend Jenna actually said that she puts the Maybelline stuff through her brows, you know, the the tinting product and leaves it on overnight and her brows are really, really dark in the morning. Now I kind of have naturally dark brows. Now I'm gonna go in with this like cleansing cloth and my cleanser. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. daily cleanser. Love this, best thing ever. So I'm just gonna wash my face, I guess. Ooh, that water is cold. It's warm enough now. I love this cleanser because it's like pearlescent. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a pearl sheen off it. It looks really nice and it's really good at scrubbing my makeup off. I've been using the MAC foundation again. I absolutely love it, like, but I do get afraid when I use it too regularly in case it is going to break me out because it tends to do that if I leave it, like if I wear it too regularly, like too many days consecutively basically. It um, irritates my skin and breaks me out, but it's like the nicest foundation ever. And do you know what else I really want to get? Again, I haven't used it in a long time. The Marc Jacobs foundation. I used to love that foundation. Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty. 
get it off down my neck as well. Oh my god, there's so much of it on my neck. It looks like dirt. Or is that the shadow? No, that's definitely the shadow. No, it's the shadow. Oh my god, I was like, oh my god, my neck is so dirty. So I'm just moving around my forehead. I forgot like how much maintenance these eyelashes were again. Look at the amount of makeup that's on my face. It doesn't even look like it. Okay, so that is all of my makeup taken off. Now I'm gonna use one of these little pads. Sometimes these get like little bits of makeup off that I don't even see. These brighten and hydrate my skin and they also are light exfoliant too. And they're just great at like getting like little bits of makeup off as well and then just kind of exfoliating dead skin off. I usually do it down my neck as well. My decolletage, but I can't reach that because I have a bloody jumper on. Okay, so now that my face is clean, I'm going to add my moisturizers. So I have this under eye dark circle serum to help brighten my under eyes. I don't know if it's actually doing anything to my under eyes because I still feel like they're really, really dark. So I'm not sure, do I put this on first? Yeah, serum first and then the moisturizer. Isn't that the way it goes or is it the other way around? Why well, we should really know this. I worked on an Elizabeth Arden counter for two years, three years maybe. And uh, yeah, I still can't remember if it's serum first, under eye first, cream I mean. So anyway, I'm gonna put the cream on next. So this is the Illuminating Under Eye Cream, which I really like, it's from e.l.f. again. Put a teeny bit of that there and here. Then I'm just gonna take my fingers and blend it out. No eye cream, it's best to kind of like bring it out like this because any hydration that your eye needs, it will naturally bring the eye cream onto the, to the eyelid. You don't need to put it on your eyelid. Well, I don't anyway, because my eyelids are kind of a little bit oily, not like extremely oily, but they do get a little bit oily. And then we're gonna move on to my night cream. This is the e.l.f. night cream. I did a whole sponsored video featuring all these products as well, guys, but I love them. I think it's my morning routine. I'll leave that linked below, but I don't think I showed the night cream in it, did I? I probably did. So I'm just gonna place that everywhere. Literally here, my mum does her show and Chewy to come in. He's outside barking at the moon. I think I talked about that before. He just goes out and barks at the moon for whatever reason, we don't know. He just goes out every night, same time, and barks relentlessly at the moon. That's my skincare regimen, regime, done. And I'm gonna hit the hay, guys. I had such a wonderful day. Like I had like one of the best days ever. I like was just in such great form all day and was getting like good news and that front and center and like everybody I was talking to was in great form. I just love days like that. And I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And if you didn't, I hope tomorrow's a better day. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.